building a modern website with e-commerce on your own will probably take like, what, a couple of months? Uh, well, actually, no, you're wrong, my friend. Not with providers like Zyro Website Builder. I made this website that you're looking at right now in just the afternoon. So today, I've decided to go step by step and help you build an actual functioning website. Let's start with the Zyro Website Builder tutorial. The first question that could arise in this Zyro tutorial, can I build a Zyro website for free? Well, actually, yeah, Zyro is kind of the best free website builder, well, sort of. Since you can follow this tutorial even without buying Zyro premium plans. However, you have to get one to publish your brand new website. So for that, I've left the best discount deals for all Zyro plans in the description below. Let's go to Zyro.com and create an account. Or just use your Google account to register. After your registration is complete, Zyro Website Builder wastes no time and jumps straight to template selection. Don't worry though, Zyro is a no-code website builder. Zyro advice, if you already have an account and want to follow along, it allows you to choose how to make a Zyro website. There are of course three different options to choose from. You can start from scratch, pick a template or let the AI come up with a design. For this tutorial, you'll need to choose to go with templates. Let's continue. You have to choose a template. Now, Zyro has more than 130 modern and sleek looking website templates to choose from. And you can filter them by certain categories for easier Zyro navigation. For this video, click Community. And then choose this template, Jasper. Of course, if you do like living the dangerous lifestyle, you can pick any template. You can then preview how this particular theme will look on desktop or mobile. If everything is good, click Start Building. First, there are three settings options that you need to set up globally. So go to the Style tab. Here, choose what main colors I want for my site. In this case, I'll go with this one and add one custom color here for highlights. Then go to Fonts and choose the one that fits your style the most. I really like Nonito Sans one. Finally, choose what style of buttons you want. I'll go with the round ones, why not? There might not be that many Zyro customization options, I'll agree, but it's enough for most projects. We of course need to start from the top, so let's edit our menu and logo. What I love about Zyro Website Builder is that it's kind of a complete ecosystem. Look, in this case, you can click here and generate a free logo without any registration or other type of nonsenses. Sure, it's uh, not a professional level logo, but I made this one in just two minutes. So jump to AI Logo Generator, then select Create a Logo Yourself. Just type in your project name, then choose what type of website you have. Then select the website and select the option you want. You can edit the colors and shapes even further and download logo files. Done. So let's go back to Zyro. Upload your logo by going here and bam, a brand new logo in just a couple of minutes. To edit the menu design, you can click here. And for me, it's kind of perfect the way it is. What I'm going to change though is the color of it, yeah and uh, make the spaces between elements a bit larger so that the menu would take up more of the header space. There's not much to change here though and we'll talk about pages overall just a little bit later. Now, hero header. I'm not 100% sure why everybody calls it hero, but okay, let's just move along. Um, first, let's change the photo and drag it to the other side. Next up, let's change the text and rearrange it like this. There we go. Now I'll add a new text element, paste my text into it, and choose H6 in this menu so that the text appears smaller. I'll edit this button's text and its link so it would take the user straight to our YouTube channel. Finally, I'll add social media links right about here. Go to edit, change the links, and then change the style and the arrangement to be vertical. Done with the top. Now, let's go down a bit. I would like to have a simple store to turn this kind of into an e-commerce website. You know, something small, maybe for five items or so. 
Let's do it as our Cyber News merch shop, so you can also see our delightful designs. Add a light store by going here. It should create a separate page and a demo store with just a few products. Go back again and select Manage Store. This will bring up the setup wizard. Go through the setup steps. Once you reach the dashboard, select Products. Then just pick a product and modify it. Change the images, change pricing information, and add a new description. Do it for all the products you want to have in your store. Then just configure your shipping rates here by following Zyro's guide. However, to accept online payments, you'll need to upgrade to a business plan. So those discount links I left in the description down below will help you out a lot. Now, in this Zyro website tutorial, if you go back to editing, you can scroll down and click the plus sign. Let's add the Zyro e-commerce section. This one should be automatically be filled with all your products. All that's left is to click here and select how many products to display. I'll go with four. And if you actually want to get some of our amazing looking cyber merch goodies, you can click the link in the corner to visit our online store. Be stylish and well informed. One of the really important aspects of your website success is having a blog. And blogging is really important if you're making a portfolio website, for example. So first, let's build our blog. If you click here, you can integrate the blogging tool very easily. It will create a new page in your site structure as well as two template posts. Select one and start editing it. Add text elements and headings. I then drag the images into our post. And finally, let's go to settings and change the featured image right around here. On the one hand, the Zyro blog post editor allows you to customize each post design individually. On the other though, if you want to create a few of them, it's not as optimized, for example, as WordPress. What's left is to change our post title, description, and URL. You can also schedule a post here. Next up in the Zyro tutorial for beginners, at the very bottom, I want to have three sections. One needs to allow users to subscribe to my newsletter, and the second one needs to be a contact form. And the last one is a Google map. Let's start by modifying the already existing subscription section. I'll change the image here and move everything a bit up so this entire section would take less space. Next is the contact form. Click this plus here to select one of the section templates that Zyro Website Builder has to offer. And I'll go with this one. Now again, let's change the image here and use one of the free available photos from the library. Here, let's add this. There are a bit more fields in this form than I want, so I'll click here, then edit fields. Now, I only want to have email and message fields. I'll just click here to remove the name and last name fields. I want a very simple Google map here, so again, Add a map section by clicking this plus symbol and finally just click edit and enter the address that you want to display and done. I won't go too much into other pages since this is a beginner Zyro tutorial. You'll also get 24-7 Zyro help by live chat and all of the pages have the same workflow. Let's manage our pages and publish your website. So click here you'll see all the pages that are currently in your site's structure. To delete, rename, or duplicate the page, click this cog icon. You can also arrange menu items by dragging them on the left side. At the bottom, you can add a brand new page, add a link, or insert a drop-down menu. The last thing I want to mention, if you go to Page Settings and then to Zyro SEO, you can set up titles as well as descriptions. What I like is that Zyro shows you a little preview so you can understand how your link will look in search results, making SEO a bit easier for beginners. All that's left is to publish a website. For that, you need to buy and assign a premium plan to this website. Make sure that before upgrading your Zyro account, you use the discount links in the description below. Once you buy and assign the plan, pick a domain name and publish your site. And done. Now everyone on the internet can visit your creation.
Congrats! To wrap this Zyro tutorial for beginners, Zyro isn't the most extensive tool out there, yet it gives you all the tools you need to start a website on your own. For beginners, it's probably the best website builder choice there is, period. You've just seen how smooth it was to build your new business or personal website, and now you can create even more things. Hope you had fun! I've added a video about the best website builder for small businesses to watch on my side. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them all in the comments down below. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe and all of that. I'll see you all a bit later.